everybody, Michael Stratag here. Uh, welcome to day one of the Farland Terminal U23B project, aka Milwaukee Road 5004. This is going to be a pretty long build, so it's going to go over several Mondays here. Um, might even take the rest of the year, who knows. But uh, I hope you guys can learn a little bit. I'm going to try to show you some tips and techniques over the course of the next several Mondays. And uh, this is going to be like a brass kit build. And to be honest with you, I've never done this before. So we're going to learn this together. I'm going to make mistakes, but hey, that's how you learn, right? All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the build. Sit back, relax, and we'll see how this thing all turns out. This is the Ryobi 18 volt rotary tool. Uh, this is what I'm going to be using for a lot of filing in this on this build. Here's the other end of the rotary tool. Hold it kind of like a pencil, like a, any other Dremel. Here are the parts for the base that we're going to be putting a sub assembly of today. It consists of these four parts. I've already put one together here. And the only thing I need to do is I need to put the very last piece on the very top. And that I will do uh, a little bit later on uh, after I'm done showing you. Oops, I dropped that. Now that I've shown you that, let's take a look at some of the tools I'm going to be using. Okay, this is a Zuron um, uh, sprue cutter. Uh, it works really good for cutting these brass pieces off of uh, off of the sprues. I'll show you that a little later. Uh, this is a uh, just a plain pliers, but it has no teeth to it and square 90 degree machined edges. So bending these it makes bending these pieces really nice, and you don't damage the brass at all because it has no teeth. The same thing with this one, except for this is much smaller, obviously, and it's got a little angle bend to it at the end. This is going to be used for holding on and bending a lot of the smaller parts. Comes in pretty handy. Okay, let's get to bending this thing. All right, uh, I'm going to take the bigger pliers. Well, I better show you this first. Okay, uh, these parts have all got etched grooves in them, which are your bend points. So we're just going to take and line up the edge here. And then we're just going to push against and push down against the plier and, until it stops. And that will make a nice 90 degree curve, or in the curve, a nice 90 degree angle on the uh, on that tower. Which is essentially what we're going to be looking for over the course of the build. Uh, I'm going to do this again. And voila, there you have it. There's the start to the 5004. Okay, now we're going to take, and we got these four little tabs on the side. We need to bend those outward. Um, those are going to essentially um, help hold this in place once we put it on the frame. So we just do it with the smaller players. And I got this bad habit of, like, pulling the piece towards me, forgetting that I'm actually doing this on camera. So, you know what? i got to try to do this a little differently. Okay, here, bring this down. All right, now I'm going to do this the same thing. You're going to square it up, push it against it, and it makes a nice 90-degree uh, corner on those pieces. Makes it nice and square. And you can see it right there against my thumb. You can see how nice and square they are there. So there's that. Pretty simple so far. I knew I forgot to do something. Okay. On the bottom and on these pieces, there's all this little flash left over from when I nipped it off of the original sprue. So I'm going to take my uh, handy-dandy little Ryobi rotary tool here. And as you can see, I got a small little uh, sanding disc or whatever you want to call it on there, tube. And I'm going to just take that on the lowest setting, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to get, uh, sorry about my meat hooks being in the way there, but... I'm just going to just take them real lightly, sand those down so that they're flush against the rest of the piece because, you know, they will get it in the way and they will cause an issue sometime down the build. And I'm going to do that for all the pieces, and we'll see you here back in, a, in just a few seconds. Okay, now that we've got that all taken care of, uh, now I'm going to start bending the truck mount braces. These actually help 
support the 45s and it's just the same thing there's a groove that's etched into it you take the large pliers and you just push it against the push it against the pliers to create that 90 degree um, bend and the purpose of these is to help support the inside of that tower um, so it's actually pretty pretty important uh, so as, as you can see there it is nice square or reasonably square uh, little pieces now I'm going to take and do the same thing to the uh, king pin holder which is the very very top piece and this is just a small bend I mean tiny like a sixteenth of an inch bend so I'm going to take and do that and boom that's all done Okay, as you can see, we got all of our parts all sitting here. They're all nice and bent. Uh, all the little sprues are all filed off and sanded off of them. So now we're going to start putting the subassembly together. And I'm not going to do the whole thing, I don't think. Oh, I forgot to tell you. this is The whole kit pretty much is slot and groove. Similar to doing like a laser cut um, building or structure or whatever. So it's going to really make the assembly process pretty nice uh, it'll also help hold things in place for like soldering and you know it'll let you know if you're making a mistake so here we're just gonna start putting these inside braces the truck mount braces in place and you know as usual nothing ever goes right like I said it does bend the nice thing is is you can bend these parts and manipulate them to fit where you need to when you need to because brass is so soft and sorry about this but I'm gonna I gotta get this a little closer because I'm half blind not really but uh, just uh, of course this isn't gonna work the way I want it ah frustration all right so let's see here maybe just a couple more little pops and get this in there and I think I think I may have got it and here's the final assembly that's gonna come out real nice so now we got our two towers put together well there you have it day one of the build is in the books next time we're gonna start soldering these towers together as well as starting to bend and put together the sub assemblies for the rest of the frame thanks for watching hope that you guys tune in at the next uh, Monday and as always, keep them on the shiny side.